A voyage of exploration can sometimes take months. Other discoveries take a few years. But when you're going to the most distant worlds in our solar system, it can take almost a decade. Hello, Pluto. The thing is, is that no one's ever been out to Pluto, right? New Horizons has been traveling to Pluto since 2006. Everything about this mission is really going to be not rewriting textbooks, but writing the textbooks. The New Horizons mission is anchored by the Southwest Research Institute for NASA. I hope that it's remembered as, as um, the scientific mission that cracked open the third zone of the solar system, first to explore the Kuiper Belt and dwarf planets. The New Horizons camera system includes a remote sensing instrument built by Ball Aerospace called RALF. So RALF is a nod to the Honeymooners. Our sister instrument, which actually is located right next to us here, is called ALICE. And they will work in tandem to get images in different wavelengths that will tell us different things about the planet. Ball Aerospace began building RALF in 2004, with only 22 months to complete the science instrument. NASA gives this contract with well, as I recall, 22 months between the word to go build it and launch, which is unheard of. Because the voyage to Pluto takes so long, Ralph had to be small, made out of lightweight aluminum, with a power level of a nightlight. Think of it as a battery, that it's got to last at least nine years to get out there, so you really don't want to use much power. The spacecraft is about the size of a grand piano and began its journey strapped to the fastest rocket ever launched. That was, that was one moment that I, I remember pretty dramatically. The excitement of having slaved over this optical instrument. And then we basically shipped the thing off and strapped it on top of a firecracker. It cleared the tower so quickly and went so fast. It was through the clouds in 43 seconds. That firecracker of a rocket needed to be fast in order to catch up with Jupiter in February 2007 for a gravity boost that would help it reach Pluto in just under 10 years. It's just a, a slingshot out there. <laughs> and it's been, been going on for over nine years now. Uh, waiting nine years in the aerospace industry is a long time. In the meantime, my kids you know, were in high school at the time when I was working on it. Since then, they've graduated college, got on to become doctors and engineers. The New Horizons mission is designed to study the surface composition, temperature, and atmosphere of Pluto. As we fly by, the, by Pluto, the spacecraft will actually rotate so that we can continue to take images as we leave. We know so little about Pluto that when New Horizons launched nine years ago, we believed it had only one moon. We launched, it was Pluto and Charon. Now, there's Pluto, Charon, Nix, Hydra, Karabas, and Styx. We're going to be learning not just answers to those questions, but answers to questions that we haven't even thought to ask yet. After nearly three billion miles, New Horizons will capture our closest views ever of Pluto on July 14th of this year. You know, I've worked on this project in one form or another for 26 years. And when I'm asked, what are we gonna find, I say, that's a Christmas present that's been sitting under my tree since 1989. And I don't know what's inside, but I just can't wait to open it in July.